journey to Mars will uncover complex new discoveries. What we are trying to achieve demands an extraordinary focus and attention to detail. understanding the journey to Mars. But critics are saying Ian Rhodes is rushing to Mars. You're trying to accomplish in one year what's taken Elon Musk and space. I'm sure Elon Musk is far too busy with Tesla to take the same advantage as we have. We've got the best technology. One of the reasons we launched the satellite was not to rush sending people out. This will succeed. Even the best people can't predict what we will uncover. So if I understand this correctly, there's no need for shareholders to worry? Absolutely, we know what we're doing. We are working forward, going forward, going through the process. R&D is you.
I'm Dave Jones from the EEV blog, and my secret talent's a bit unusual. Every week I educate and entertain nerds like me on YouTube. And trust me, that takes a lot of talent. Roll the tape. Let's blow some stuff up. You can see the lines on my face. You can see the work, the study, the research. We are nearly there. You idiots! After millions of dollars and all those flashy videos, the road satellite is missing and the mission to Mars is dead! Oh, what an extraordinary stuff up! You've got the calculation for the orbital eccentricity, which determines how far out from Mars your satellite is going to orbit. Now, if you have an eccentricity value between zero and one, you end up with a nice elliptical orbit like this. According to the press release, the onboard software got the vector calculation wrong, ended up with a value greater than one, and now, on a, now it's on a hyperbola, and it's headed to bloody Jupiter. They spent millions on this, and they screwed up a formula even an engineering student can understand. Bloody clowns! Oh.